Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Thank you for allowing me just to, you know, send you beautiful vibes, allowing you you know, just allowing me to help you heal as you, you know, you help me heal as well. And we just educating each other, you know, in our empathic ways. So with all that, you know, it's just so beautiful. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you feel like you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just opening up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and sent you on a positive direction. Or if you feel like the video has just gave you good vibes and just gave you good information that you would love to share it with someone, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And I hope you are able to, you know, get something out of the content of my video. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and thank you for the support. In the video, I'm, I mean, the um, uh, meditation video I'm listening to today is nine hours relaxing. Uh, piano music, sleep, study, and meditation, and relaxed music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is um, Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you are re you are worthy for love. Yes, you are worthy for love. And you know we can be going through so many things. And you know it could have been the fact is you had a you know a broken childhood, you know a broken home. Um, where you have been abused or just put down mentally and emotionally where you felt like you cannot be loved, you know, how can somebody love the unlovable? And I just actually feel like that because it was just so many things that was happening to me back to back, you know, finding out friends weren't really my true friends, finding out people that, you know, I love dearly did not love me back. And I used to always feel like there was something wrong with me and there's really nothing wrong with me. You know, it was the fact is I had so much love to give that you know people would see that and prey upon things like that and make you feel like you know you're not desirable or you're not worthy or you cannot be loved and those are the people that have been hurt with them being told the same thing so you have to break that cycle allow yourself to know that you are worthy to be loved knowing that you are able to love and it's just like so many times we, we could have been through something that traumatized us to the point where we're scared to love it's just like we we think that you know just because I've been through this before before and before you know I'm scared to open up I'm scared to get married I'm scared to be in a relationship I'm scared to even love and I mean you have to really heal you have to be really you know ready to heal and it's just like I've been in a really bad traumatizing relationship for years and you know it 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 never had its really ups and downs it was fake ups and all you know downs constantly but I've never you know at first <clears throat> it made me to the point where I was not allowing myself to want to be around anybody I would purposely bum down like if I was to go somewhere just because I didn't want anybody trying to you know talk to me even though that didn't even help I still had people talk to me you know I even they even said you know even though you're dressed like that you look like you're a type of person that you know if I was to take you out you, you would show up and show out yeah I would but you know that was not the <laughs> that's not the game plan I had when I was going to the store you know I just didn't want to be bothered so I would constantly do that but it's just like I know in my life there's things that I want that I've set goals and standards for myself because of the situations that I've been through in the past where I've been hurt, I've been manipulated, been abused in any kind of way possible and it made me feel like I was not worthy of love. You know, there obviously there's something wrong with me for me to be attracting people like that and it's just the fact is with you being an empath and we, they prey on us because it's just the fact is we always try that's our weakness we always try to find a good in no matter what it is you know 
if the devil was walking around here, you know, dressed as a normal person, and they, you know, we try to talk to him if he was able to cloak his energy good, you know, we would try to find a way to see good in him as well. And it's just the fact you have to, like I said before, you have to be able to heal, know that you are worthy of love, knowing that you deserve love. And once you start healing and what's the things you set goals for you, well not set goals for yourself, but set, set standards for yourself on the things that you would not allow yourself to be put through anymore, the things that you will be able to control when it comes to yourself like not actually controlling your relationship but be able to say that you know okay I'm not going to deal with this you know we can compromise but I don't want to you know you're not going to control me you're not going to disrespect me you're not going to belittle me and it's just like so many times you know I've heard people say you know Rosalind how do you you know remain abstinent or you know like practicing celibacy you know how are you able to do this you know don't you hate being alone? I'm like, who does like being alone? But I'd rather be alone than be with somebody who doesn't, you know, that takes my love for them for granted. You know, doesn't treat me the way I deserve to be treated. Love me the way I'm supposed to be loved. If you love yourself, that's enough for right now until you're able to find that person. You know, people come up to me, I'm like, oh, it's not going to work. You know, because I, I can already feel the vibes. If you're not vibing with me and I'm not clicking with you in that way, I already know you're about to waste your time and don't be wasting mine. <laughs> so I hope you were able to get something out of the content of this video, knowing that you are loved. I love you so much and I'm sending you out so many loving blessings. If you are not healing or if you have not healed from being hurt from traumatic relationships or even when it had to be from a spouse, a loved one, or just family members, knowing that you can heal from these things, you can get past all those scars that's been left in your heart. And knowing that when you find that love in yourself, you'll find somebody that will see the same love within you as well. So I hope you are able to, you know, resonate with the content of this video. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love the chance to get to hear from you and get to know you as much as you get to know me. As well as you get to know me. Or even, you know... Even if it's about your empathic gift that has been placed upon you and it sent you in a positive direction or towards a positive direction, you know, give me a thumbs up. You know, even share on your social media favorites. And I will see you on my next video. Much love and light to you. Namaste. Peace. And be wild.